Hey guys, Andy here from Wind NC and lovely Kate Patteris. Uh, one of the things we're really excited about these days is the plethora of awesome light wind wave sailing options we have available to us. It's, it's a place where uh, the board manufacturers have really been pushing to make it easier and more fun in lighter and lighter wind conditions. And it's pretty cool uh, to be able to get out there and have some fun on an otherwise pretty mediocre day that you wouldn't get too excited about. Uh, there are a lot of different board, board choices for this uh, genre of sailing, and they all have their strengths and uh, their weaknesses. So I was just going to show you a couple of the boards that we have here. Uh, we have most of these available in our rental fleet, so you can try them if you make it to Hatteras. Uh, or you can just see which ones fit the bill for your particular situation. Pull the trigger, we'll send it right to you. Uh, so we're going to talk today about a few different types of boards. We've got our traditional longboard, uh, kick down dagger board, windsurfing oriented board. Uh, we've also got the sea line, which is a really short, uh, fishy type shape. Uh, we've got our classic stand up paddle board, a little bit longer and skinnier. Uh, then our more aggressive wave surfing stand up paddle board, shorter, a little bit wider. And then last but not least, we've got some full-on windsurfing wave boards in larger volumes that work really well in light wind conditions. Um, so we'll start with the, uh, the RRD Windsup. Um, this is also a stand-up paddle board. It's pretty uh, traditional stand-up paddle board outline, 11 foot by 30 inches wide. Uh, it's pretty normal numbers for a stand-up paddle board, but it's got a little bit flatter rocker than most stand-up boards do. It also gives you tons of foot strap options and a kick down dagger board option. Uh, so this is a great, board for somewhat mediocre conditions where you know maybe the wind isn't that great um, or if the wave is really not very good if the wave doesn't have much push or much good shape to it a board like this is going to generate speed very quickly and easily and catch waves really easily and then you can motor back up wind and uh, catch more waves which is fun uh, it's kind of half the fun is catching a lot of waves easily um, the flip side of that equation is this isn't super maneuverable compared to some of the other options out there. So this is more your wave catching machine. Uh, it's going to get you out there riding tons of waves when the conditions are really bad. Like you can take this out in five miles an hour wind and knee high piddly waves that are barely breaking and you can catch them and, and have a good time. Uh, the other thing that's nice about this board is some people do like to run larger sails like six, nine, seven, five, maybe even eight oh or something. Um, and this board will handle that kind of a sale if you want to go that big. Most of the other boards that we have on the table here are a little bit more optimized for smaller sales, four, two, four, seven, five, two, even in light wind conditions, you run a smaller sale on these other boards and you can put a smaller sail in here as well if you want, but it does give you the option to power yourself up with a larger sail too. Uh, next board in the lineup that we have here is the AHD Sea Lion. Uh, this is a pretty unique board. It's got a really wide fishy tail on it. Uh, it's a twin fin, um, so just two fins in the back there. Uh, this is a pretty unique board. It works well in very mediocre conditions. It generates speed really well. Uh, it's got a really squirty and lively feel to it. Um, so the sea lion excels in a really broad range of conditions. If the wave's mediocre, if you don't have much wind, side on, side off. It almost doesn't matter with the sea lion. Uh, you can have a lot of fun out there in small, weak waves. And then again, if it gets big and barreling and heavy, the sport is really fun to sail at the same time. You can also paddle board these. Uh, it's a little bit trickier to, to stand up paddle on these unless you have some experience. Uh, if you're a beginner stand up paddle boarder, you're going to have a little bit of a tough time keeping your balance on the sea line board relative to like the larger wind up or a more traditional stand up paddle board shape. Uh, which leads us over here. Um, this particular one is the starboard um, ASAP construction. It's a wind up, uh, it's got a full mass track built in it. Those two holes there for a fixed center fin if you're light wind sailing it in flat water. Uh, so we just put this one on the table here as an example of a traditional stand-up paddle board, 11 2 by 30, uh, almost the exact same specs as the RRD Windsup, but you can see the tail's a lot more pulled in. Um, it also has quite a bit more tail rocker on it, um, which makes it a little bit more of a surf-oriented board. Um, 
but we've got tons of other options in this genre. We also carry Taboo, uh, JP. Um, there's other models of Starbirds. Uh, there's really quite a few nice options in this uh, this type of board. Um, so if you're going to be paddleboarding a lot, um, these are great because they are actually paddleboards. If you're windsurfing them, they work really well in uh, pretty much all conditions, um, especially small wave conditions, the knee-high stuff to waist-high stuff. They catch waves really easily. They're very cruisy feeling. Uh, if you ride it in the middle of the board, if you get back on the tail, you can really throw it around and make some pretty good turns on it. Um, this type of board is a little bit happier if you're going to sail it with smaller sails, uh, 4, 7, 5, 2, 5, 7 kind of thing. Um, with this much rocker in the tail and the narrow tail, it doesn't really like being powered up with a big sail. Um, so if the wind comes up and it's like planable conditions, this is going to get a little bit out of hand pretty quickly. Um, whereas the sea lion and the, the RRD windsup will actually plane off and feel like regular windsurfing boards in, in those conditions. Uh, but if you're mostly paddling, then this is a really nice option that you can stick a sail on on occasion uh, and go have some fun. Uh, the other kind of type of paddleboard, sailable paddleboard that's out there um, are the more wave-oriented, aggressive kind of paddleboards. Um, you know, anywhere from seven and a half feet up to nine, nine and a half feet. Um, this particular one is the Taboo Super Surf. Uh, it's an 8.6 by 31, relatively low volume, 125 liters. Um, these boards are really, really fun if you're paddleboarding a little bit more aggressively because you can really put them on rail and make uh, pretty legit turns on them. Uh, and then sailing them, they're really fun also, um, especially if the wave starts to get a little bit better, um, maybe chest high, head high, it's got a little bit better shape, a little bit more power to it. These boards fit in those pockets a little bit easier uh, and they're easier to throw around and you can get pretty aggressive on them, uh, which is really fun. Flip side of that equation is if the waves aren't very good, if it's barely knee high and barely breaking, these don't accelerate quite as well as uh, the other three boards that I already talked about. So it's a little bit trickier catching the weaker waves, but when the waves get good, these things are really fun, uh, super enjoyable out there. Last but not least, uh, there are some really cool, pure windsurfing wave boards available these days that you can get out in really light conditions and have a great time. Uh, this particular one is the Goya Custom Quad. It's 106 liters, but the biggest one they make is 116. Um, which is pretty big, you know, most people can uphaul them pretty comfortably in light winds. Um, and you can pump into waves very easily um, on, on a board like this. And then once you get in the wave, especially if it's a good wave with good shape and good power, this might as well be a 80 liter wave board from five years ago because it's unbelievable how maneuverable it is. Uh, so you get back in the straps as, you, as you're in the wave um, and you can throw it around very aggressively and it's got great grip and great speed generation when you're windsurfing it. Um, these boards, you're, you're not going to want to put a huge sail on these either. 5.2, um, 5.7, five, five, maybe a 6.3 in the really light wind conditions. Uh, preferably side shore to side off, but you can take them out in side on conditions as well and have quite a bit of fun. Um, and the nice thing about these is if the wind does come up while you're out there and you get planing conditions and you've got an awesome, legit windsurfing board that sails very, very well. Um, so there's a lot of options out there. Um, there's no excuses not to be going wave sailing anymore. Uh, you know, there's not enough wind is not a thing these days. So uh, no more excuses. Get yourself one of these larger boards. Uh, you don't need a huge sail, so the sails you already have work fine. And uh, yeah, just go get out there and have some fun. Come give them a try. We've got most of this stuff in our rental fleet. Um, I think you'll be pretty impressed with how fun it is on an otherwise mediocre day. So come check it out.